Why don't men need Midol? Because ibuprofen can't handle mood swings. And now let us look at 11 critical differences between the two. Let's compare the differences between Midol versus ibuprofen, two commonly used over-the-counter medications for pain relief. Difference one, the primary difference is that Midol and ibuprofen are known by different names. Midol is a brand name for a combination drug that contains acetaminophen, pyrilamine malleate, and caffeine. On the other hand, ibuprofen is a generic name for a drug used in many products like Advil and Motrin. Difference two, the ingredients involved. Midol contains a combination of acetaminophen for pain relief, pyrilamine malleate, an antihistamine to relieve the emotional symptoms related to PMS, and caffeine to ease fatigue and bloating. Conversely, ibuprofen is a singular substance, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, that reduces hormones that cause inflammation and pain in the body. Difference three, Midol is primarily marketed for the alleviation of symptoms associated with menstrual cycles, such as cramps, bloating, water weight gain, and irritability. However, ibuprofen is typically recommended for a wider range of pain relief, like headaches, backaches, and toothaches. Difference four, the mechanism of action. While ibuprofen works by blocking the production of certain natural substances that cause inflammation, Midol's components each serve unique roles in providing relief, as mentioned earlier. Difference five, potential side effects. Ibuprofen can lead to stomach upset, mild heartburn, nausea, vomiting, bloating, gas, diarrhea, or constipation, and in severe cases, bleeding in the stomach or intestines. Midol, due to its different components, may lead to drowsiness or dizziness, dry mouth, nose, or throat, mild constipation, or blurred vision. Difference six, it's about drug interactions. Midol's component, pyrilamine, may interact negatively with monoamine oxidase inhibitors. In contrast, ibuprofen can interact with medications like blood thinners, corticosteroids, and antihypertensives. Difference seven, Midol can aid with relieving fatigue because of its caffeine content. However, ibuprofen doesn't provide energy or eliminate fatigue. It concentrates purely on pain relief and inflammation reduction. Difference eight, first indicated ages for use. Children can take ibuprofen from six months of age under supervision, whereas Midol is safe for kids age 12 and above. Difference nine, endurance against physical pain and injury. Since ibuprofen is an NSAID, it can effectively reduce swelling related to physical injuries such as sprains, while Midol is specifically tailored to alleviating menstrual symptoms. Difference 10, people suffering from aspirin-sensitive asthma can safely use Midol, while ibuprofen may induce asthma attacks in such people. Difference 11, while both Midol and ibuprofen should not be taken more frequently than every six hours, the maximum daily dosage for adults is different. For Midol, it is six gels, capsules a day, while for ibuprofen, it is six tablets or 1,200 mg a day for general non-prescription usage. However, people should always follow specific dosing instructions provided by a healthcare professional.